Don't you love the selfie lenses? See that grid? Snapchat needs to convert our faces into data so that it can run the algorithm that lets it do the filters. When we use the selfie lens, oh, our faces become data that can be manipulated. This book by Kelly Gates really had me thinking about surveillance and biometrics. She points out that biometrics make us think differently about faces. Faces used to be for communicating. And you know, most of our snaps are for communicating with our friends. We want to tell our friends how we feel. But with biometrics, faces are used mostly for identifying people. Governments do it, Facebook and Google do it. The police use its facial recognition technology to track criminals. Shops use it to identify shoppers who have a lot of money to spend. Biometrics tend to lock us into a specific identity. If you had trouble with the police once, you'll be caught again and again. If you ever made a stupid purchase, well, they'll try to sell you that thing again and again. It's hard to escape. The biometric grid you see when you take a silly selfie messes with that idea that biometrics is about identity and locking you into something. Snapchat uses biometrics so you can put on silly faces to communicate with your friends. Yeah. Maybe the biometric grids in Snapchat normalize biometrics so we all get more used to surveillance and having everyone track us. Or maybe Snapchat has found a way to use biometrics to make us more communicative instead of imprisoning us in a fixed identity.